Hi everyone, very good evening guys and in fact, uh, welcome back. We just had a session which we finished five minutes back on the Yan Academy app which was regarding the orientation for the upcoming exam students mm -hmm. and to follow it up and to give it to you as a, you know, an additional boost of the day, I've come up with 10 spotters which we are going to discuss quickly in less than, you know, probably 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And these 10 spotters are going to be obviously image based, exact image spotters, which you can also get in the exam. But before I begin, I want a quick confirmation if, um, uh, uh, you know, if the audio video is all fine. If yes, you can just type it out and let me know in the live chat box and we'll start right away. Until the time I get a confirmation, I just want all of you to know that today being March 16th is the last uh, few hours that you have. For the unlock 20 that is the 20% off that is going on on an academy with the code of patho 10 so yes i think i've got a i've got a nod from all of you and we can begin right away so spotter number one is uh, starting from something which is very simple you need to tell me what is the technique that has been used over here what technique of genetics do i have over here and then you need to tell me what is the stain that has been used for this technique these are your two questions for this spotter no options because then it becomes Come very simple we are going to go without options in this case spotter number one okay so some people say fish some say karyotyping see it does look fluorescent and i'm not denying that but uh, this is if i divide this picture into two parts like this over here you will see all the chromosomes are all haphazard and all and over here you will see they've been arranged very nicely starting from chromosome 1 on to chromosome 23 so that kind of an arrangement is something and only one color you're only getting a green fluorescent color so this technique is known as karyotyping because you can study all the chromosomes that you're seeing over here so firstly when i talk about karyotyping if i wouldn't have given this image to you and i would have just asked you that for karyotyping which is the most common stain that you have you would have told me that we use the gymsa stain and uh, that is the reason that karyotyping we call as g-banding right we call it as g-banding but over here it's obviously not the gymsa stain that we have used over here i've used a fluorescent stain so when i call it a fluorescent stain fluorescent stain is something but the quinacrine stain which many of you have given me as a right answer which is amazing quinacrine stain is what i've used and that is a fluorescent stain that is why it's given me that fluorescent greenish kind of a color that i have so yes guys answer to this this is karyotyping stain is fluorescent the microscope that i've used quinacrine ke liye microscope is fluorescence microscope but other than this if they would have asked me the usual common stain that i use for karyotyping that is gymsa so I hope that is uh, okay with everyone and no problem. Let's move on to spotter number two of the day. The all-time favorite NEET PG question. NEET PG, FMG, ye wala tumor, inka hamesha favorite hai. Evergreen question, evergreen spotter. I don't think I need to give you a history. Although in the exam you will get a history and... Uh, I think everyone has put it up right away. I've given you the hint of also of how all these men are standing in a line one behind the other. Same way the tumor cells are also standing one behind the other. This kind of a pattern is known as perfect. This pattern is known as the Indian file pattern. And in the exam, obviously, you will get the history of, say, a breast mass in a 52-year-old female or a breast lump. That kind of a history will be given because when you get a breast lump and you get Indian file pattern the tumor that you are talking about is invasive lobular carcinoma lobular carcinoma so one quick question what is the genetic alteration that I see in lobular carcinoma lobular carcinoma exam going students genetic alteration there is loss of which particular protein which particular very good there's loss of e adherin loss of e adherin second question for the exam going students when i'm talking about invasive lobular carcinoma classify is it is it luminal a is it luminal b is it her new rich is it triple negative which category of breast tumor will you put it under invasive lobular carcinoma four options luminal a luminal b triple negative her to rich Pick up your option quickly. Exam going students, this should be on your fingertips. Breast cancer classification is very, very important. I'm waiting for an answer right now. Luminal is what I've got as the answer. Konsa wala luminal, A or B? 
सम ऑफ यू से ट्रिपल नेगेटिव ठीक है सो फर्स्टली इन्वेजिव लोब्यूलर कार्सिनोम बिलोंग्स टू द ल्यूमिनल वेराइटी एंड बोथ द ल्यूमिनल्स आर पॉसिबल मीन्स इट कैन बिलोंग टू ल्यूमिनल ए ऑल्सो इट कैन बिलोंग टू ल्यूमिनल बी ऑल्सो ट्रिपल नेगेटिव हर टू न्यू रिच वर नॉट द राइट आंसर्स ए एंड बी आर द आंसर्स सो कैन दे बी बोथ येस रिमेंबर वेन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट अ लो ग्रेड इन्वेजिव लोब्यूलर कार्सिनोम इट इज ल्यूमिनल ए and when i'm talking about a high grade invasive lobular carcinoma it is going to be luminal b so repeating luminal a and b are the two types of molecular classification that ilc can show you genetics wise it shows us the loss of e cadherin pathology wise it shows us the indian file pattern are we sorted with this should we move on to spotter number 3 spotter number 3 happens to be this okay so i'm trying that you first give me an answer without any history because most of the spotters that i've got should ideally be what they call as spotters you don't need a history for them in case you can't tell me then i'll definitely help you out with the relevant history okay so one answer i've got is um, block positive anyone else all okay so yes we are on the right track stain ka naam bhi bata do that is what is left then i'll tell you the full description very good pass positivity so what did i see over here i could see some cells over here and in the cells there was some pink pink blocks that i could see so what am i saying i am saying some pink pink color was coming and the kind of color was always coming in the form of blocks because this is said to be the block positivity or some people or authors also call it dot blot positivity so block positivity or dot blot positivity why is it pink because what stain have i used i've used the pass stain so with pass stain where do i get the dot blot positivity that is very characteristic of lymphoblasts that is very very characteristic of a lymphoblast so basically means that all these cells over here which are showing me those pink pink color dots and blots all of these are lymphoblasts so can i easily say that this is a case of all acute lymphoblastic leukemia and that is how you do the diagnosis pass positive block positivity dot blot positivity are we clear with this everyone yes okay moving on to spotter number 4 tell me the culture media two questions there is one culture media question number 1 you have to analyze it you have to tell me kaun sa culture media hai question number 2 you need to tell me the indicator in this culture media these are the two questions for this spotter name of the culture media indicator used in it okay so one of you says mekonki one of you says cled um यूज तो दोनों का सेम है ना मैं कॉन्की एंड क्लेट बोथ अलैक्टोस तो दैट इज नॉट सॉल्विंग द पर्पस टेल मी द नेम एंड टेल मी द इंडिकेटर ओके सो इंडिकेटर अभी भी नो वन वन आंसर आई वॉट न्यूट्रल रेड चलो फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट द पर्पस ऑफ गिविंग यू दिस ओवर हियर वॉज वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डिफ्रेंशिएट वेदर अ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी ऑर्गेनिजम इज लैक्टोज फॉर्मेंटर वर्सेज इट इज नॉन लैक्टोज फॉर्मेंटर वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस यू यूज टू काइंड ऑफ मीडिया इधर यू कैन यूज अ मेकॉन्की आगार और यू कैन यूज अ क्लेड मीडिया वन इज मेकॉन्की वन इज क्लेड इफ यू आस्क मी यहाँ पे क्या दिया हुआ है दिस इज गाइज अ मेकॉन्की आगार दिस इज अ मेकॉन्की आगार एंड प्लीज रिमेंबर इन अ मेकॉन्की आगार इफ लैक्टोज इज फर्मेंटेड is if lactose fermentation is seen the color that we get is a pink color so pink color this side means lactose was fermented this pale color means lactose was not fermented non lactose fermentation so what is the name of this culture media done the name of this culture media is mekonki then i asked you what is the did you color change ho raha hai there must have been some indicator that i had added that is why the color is changing so everyone tell me what is the composition which i think some of you did right mnemonic kya hai what is the composition of mekonki agar it goes by a mnemonic known as plant right that is the mnemonic i hope everyone remembers plant mein kya kya hai p stands for pepton it contains pepton because every culture media has to have peptone and agar that is such a common thing for any culture media to have peptone and agar that is what makes a culture media additionally in this culture media i want to test if lactose is being fermented or not so what will i add i will definitely add lactose to this culture media then i also will how will i get to know that lactose is fermented or not if the color will change so i need an indicator and what is the name of that indicator with the question that i asked you neutral red 
Neutral red was the name of the indicator that you all had to tell me. That was question number two put up for you. When the color of this will change to pink, I'll get to know that yes, lactose has been fermented. And coming to the last one, very good. So T stands for torocolate. What is the purpose of adding torocolate? What do I mean by torocolate? Sodium torocolate is a bile salt. Basically, this is a kind of a bile salt. Whenever I add a bile salt, bile salt inhibits the growth of other organisms. So all the other miscellaneous organisms, bile salt will inhibit it. And that is why it will help me also. So it will only help in, it will inhibit all the other ones. Means which one will it allow to grow? Which family is allowed to grow over here? Or which are the lactose fermenters? You can let me know which are the lactose. The two very famous lactose fermenters are E. coli and Klebsiella. I think and I'm assuming with confidence that everyone knows this. E. coli and Klebsiella are the two lactose fermenters in this family. Which family are we talking about? Enterobacteriaceae family. So the purpose of bile salt is that Enterobacteriaceae family will be allowed to grow, but all the other miscellaneous kind of bacteria will not be allowed to grow. So am I okay with this spotter as well? Spotter number four done. Should we move on to spotter number five? And... Ideally, I should be giving you a history for it. This is a neat PG 2019 question, but I'll still play the trick and I'll try and asking you without a history first. Spotter 5, diagnosis. If I get a diagnosis in 10 seconds, good. Otherwise, I'm going to give you the history and after that, though, I'll get a diagnosis in one second. Okay, some say H mole, some say tubular adenoma, not your fault at all, guys. At least you did understand that Kuch has a dilated, dilated dikhra. It's totally, if you didn't get the diagnosis, trust me, it's not your fault. Kuch has a dilated type of dikhra, na? cystic, cystic, perfect. Now listen to the diagnosis, the, you know, the history. Five-year-old child, five-year-old male child, bleeding per rectum. Answer now. Bleeding per rectum, neat PG 2019 question. Milgia diagnosis, stat diagnosis. I knew once I give you the history and it's sorted. Don't worry, it will never come without a history. You will always get this juvenile kind of a rectum kind of a history because then you will definitely give me the answer as juvenile rectal polyp. That's exactly what came in the neat exam. Juvenile rectal polyp, ke liye, they will always give you a juvenile five-year-old Bacha kind of a history and bleeding per rectum will indicate that yes there is some etiology happening in the rectum that is a rectal polyp and then what will you see you will see these cystically dilated glands that is what all of us are going to see over here we are going to appreciate cystically you can see they are big big glands they are dilated so they are all cystically dilated glands that are going to be Noted. Yes, and now very good. I was going to ask a question, but Dr. Satwik has answered it. That now that we are studying juvenile rectal polyp, what is the genetics that we have under it? So the genetics that we have are mutations of SMAD2 and SMAD4 genes are involved. So that is how we learn it, right? If you've learned the word juvenile, you've learned everything is going to be around the number 5. The age is also going to be less than 5. Um, quite uh, surprisingly this is spot on number 5 also and everything in terms of the gene is also going to be 5 so matlab SMAD2, SMAD4 all these lower number genes the lower age less than 5 age SMAD2, SMAD4 genes that is what will be associated with juvenile rectal polyp are we okay with that yes spotter 5 done and spotter 6. This is for second year students ye wala diagnosis bata do kuch aisa black black rod shaped what should come to your mind before I tell you the history? What is your analysis of this? Also, before this, I just want to um, praise all of you because I got all different kind of answers. Some said adenoid cystic for this. Some some called it, uh, you know, some cystic. Some said cribriform. Some said that ma'am, kuch round round gland hai. Kisi ne tubule bulaya. But without a history, at least I got to know that you finally formed an observation for pathology. You at least could analyze that how kuch round round gland jaisa tha, ya cribriform spaces the, ya tubules tha. So at least your, um, finally your, you know, your analysis of pathology slides has been on point. So just a word of appreciation for that. Okay, chalo. What is this? Huh? Very good. This is a kind. Why did I say second year students? 
बिकॉज एक तो सिंपल है सेकेंडली दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स दे आर डूइंग इन द एग्जाम समटाइम्स दे राइट समथिंग एंड दे फर्गेट टू उमिट इट इन द इमेज एंड दैट वॉज रिटर्न ओवर हियर ऑल्सो सो यू हैव टू बी नॉलेजेबल बट यू ऑल्सो हैव टू बी स्मार्ट इन लाइफ है ना सो वॉट वॉज रिटर्न ओवर हियर परफेक्ट दिस इज अ स्पेशल स्टेन सो यू विल ऑलवेज गेट अ हिस्ट्री ऑफ अ गैस्ट्रिक लीजन और अ गैस्ट्रिक बायोपसी बिकॉज वेन एवर दे वॉन्ट टू टेल यू अबाउट दिस बैक्टीरिया विच इज एच पाइलॉरी दे विल ऑलवेज गिव यू समथिंग टू डू विथ स्टमक इन द हिस्ट्री and what is the stain that we've got the wsss stain means this is the warden starry silver stain warden starry silver stain i hope everyone remembers the basic trick of pathology that whenever the word silver is written in the name of the stain the color that i'll get will be black any stain where the word silver is written ultimate color that we'll get is black and warden starry silver stain gives a black color to h pylori so what is the next question what else does this stain when i ask you warden starry silver stain number 1 you'll say it stains h pylori number 2 one more organism that you have to tell me which it can manage to stain so little bit of micro here yes can it stain uh, something uh, to do with cat scratch disease cat scratch disease kon karata hai perfect bartonella so can it which bartonella which bartonella are we talking about over here hence lake perfect again so bartonella hence lake can also be positive for warden starry silver stain these are the two microbiology questions with regard to wsss that you have to know okay so this was spotter number 6 and now we come to spotter number 7 here you go technique question 1 of this what technique has been put up over here what technique brown color as soon as i see a brown color everyone's got it right yes this is a case of immunohistochemistry next question that i'll ask you that this is some immunohistochemistry that has been put up on a breast biopsy so now which marker is this which marker is this will you analyze so see where the brown color has come has the brown color come in the nucleus or has the brown color come in the membrane so for example if these are my cells if i draw these as the cells i have to see where has the brown color come if you realize all the brown color has come in the membrane of the cell brown color is coming here and here and here and here right membrane is breast biopsy may membrane is positivity very good is with her to new this is her to new ihc that has been done so with that we can we always do three ihcs right we do er pr and her to new so what do i analyze that er will always give me a brown color in the nucleus see over here the nuclei are becoming brown in color the nucleus is becoming brown in color so er positivity will always be on the nucleus same for pr positivity pr positivity also can everyone see that the nucleus is becoming brown in color whereas when i'm talking about her to new the membrane of the cell will become brown in color so please remember this rule that er and pr will always come brown in the nucleus because er pr kya hota hai estrogen receptor progesterone receptor nuclear receptors they are going to give you a positive brown reaction in the nucleus whereas when i talk about her to positivity that is going to be in the membrane so i hope that's okay and whenever you see this brown color stain so that is going to be the her to new which is that is going to be immunohistochemistry that should be very clear to you okay spotter number 8 spotter 8 how to dif a chapter for that i'm so sorry i read this uh, doubt right now how to differentiate between er pr just by looking at it no one can differentiate you will be told see when you're dealing with both the nuclear ones you will be told in the exam which is er and which is pr just by looking at it no one can differentiate so this aspect of differentiation they will tell you in the exam but her to new is a different one right so they won't be telling you in the exam okay now coming back to spotter number 8 very good this is a very classical one which you even get in medicine this is said to be the saddle embolus so firstly um, obviously this is a kind of a blood clot which is embolized a thrombus which is embolized why do i call it saddle because this has gotten stuck at the bifurcation of this blood clot like a saddle like a horse saddle it has gotten stuck at the bifurcation of the perfect the 
pulmonary bifurcation amazing so basically the pulmonary artery bifurcation be like a saddle like a horse shoe saddle it this clot has gotten stuck in this shape so yes saddle embolus is the one that happens at the bifurcation of the pulmonary artery so that's quite a spotter if you want we can mark it over here if you see this is the one that you can I hope everyone is able to visualize this is the one like a saddle which has gotten stuck at the bifurcation of the main pulmonary trunk very very good spotter number eight is done come back to spotter number nine do you need a history should i help you out with the history or will you guys manage a cell here and inside that cell there's some pigmented thing present and there's some round lesion which they put an arrow towards Obviously, it's a round body. What body is this? Uh, LD body ne L se kuch aur hai. LD body to leishmania ki taraf chale gai. We have gone towards leishmania. We have gone towards micro. Let's come towards pathology. So no, these are not Donovan bodies. No, guys, not happening. Acha. So for those of you who thought firstly LD body, so such a big body cannot. LD body is just like a dot. LD bodies are seen like these dot 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 बहुत छोटा bodies होता है these are not LD bodies it's such a huge round body that you have and yes many of you have called it Lewy bodies that I definitely agree to these are the Lewy bodies that you see in which disease that you see in Parkinson's disease so for those of you who called it LD body firstly the size is a is a big thing over here it's a big body you LD bodies are dot 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 बहुत छोटा होता है secondly did you analyze that you are seeing some brown color pigment also inside this cell now brown color pigment usually not always but brown color pigment always the first thing that comes to my mind in the human body is brown color pigment in melanin could you have correlated ld body with the cell of melanin unless you were thinking about some cutaneous disorder and rare things so rare things should not come up in my mind first common things should come in my mind first so when i think about melanin i could have thought about skin obviously uh, skin may i don't know of such round body so other thing i could have thought about hair again in the hair i don't know of any round body like that i could have thought of the brain so any part of the brain that has this brown color pigment definitely yes substantia nigra has this brown color pigment and now if for example if this is substantia nigra the cells of substantia nigra do i know any body yes i do because substantia nigra is the one that is affected in parkinson's disease and that shows us the presence of lewy bodies yes everyone i hope it's sorted and one of the uh, best questions or you know the easiest questions you get is what does a lewy body contain it contains alpha synuclein alpha synuclein is the composition of the lewy body which makes it very easy for me to analyze because if they ask you the genetic alteration also in parkinson's disease one of the genetic alterations is the alpha synuclein gene there's overactivity there's overactivity of alpha synuclein gene now you can understand if there is overactivity of the gene then that is the reason that i'm getting this protein and that is the reason that i'm getting this body right so lewy body alpha synuclein seen in parkinson's disease i hope that's okay with everyone which gets me to the last spotter of the day and i wrap up to the session there's a test which has been shown in front of you and i want you to analyze it so koi test tube hai it has some yellow color sample it has some purple color ring and i think i've answered everything by saying that yes so definitely there's a purple ring i think that said everything about it this is a urine test for perfect um rotheras test or ketone body so rotheras ring test is how we also call it rotheras ring test or what is the chemical that is used I think I've written one alphabet, so now so you can definitely let me know. Rotheras test है, तो Rotheras कौन सा test? For ketone bodies agreed, for ketone bodies agreed, purple ring is indicative of ketone body present. That is also fine. Chemical का नाम बताओ and the story is over. What do you add? What do you add over here? I have to tell me this guys this is basic is second year me itna viva diya hai so much of viva you've given on this mark data before every pre prof prof and semester exam and then we cannot forget it 
so is there some sodium nitroprusside that i use over here yes so nitroprusside is a very important chemical that is used and perfectly set so sodium nitroprusside rothera's test basically the um, interpretation a purple ring a purple color ring at the top or somewhere in the upper part that is indicative of ketone body presence so yes that also tells you that you need to revise this zyada tests nahi hai i'm going to also conduct a session in the coming days on youtube uh, when it comes to mcqs you have very limited test you have benedict you have protein heat coagulation rothera one for bile salt one for bile pigment five test hai. only five tests in urine you have and if we cannot do just five tests then that's not acceptable right so in the coming days i'm going to conduct literally a 5 minute session on these five tests but five images i'll get for you five names you have to know five uses you have to know and five minute session i think that's an acceptable time limit for learning five tests no one's going to give you a short note or telling you the principle and asking you all those things sirf identification janna hai and one one line about it so yes in the coming week we will be um you know going for it and we will be uh, talking about it but yeah one of them is done today the sodium nitroprusside ring test rothera ring test pink color sorry purple color ring purple color ring gives us positivity for ketone bodies yes Okay, so this was just a mixed bag boost kind of a session, and as promised, uh, jaldi khatam ho gaya, so we can wrap up. We'll be meeting tomorrow morning, guys. Kickstart morning, usual session. Topic for tomorrow morning is the GI polyps. At least one GI polyp to I introduced to do to you guys today. Only one GI polyp, juvenile rectal polyp, already done today. So I think that will just be a repeat for tomorrow and the others. Uh, so yes and all the students who had queries regarding the all educator batch i just answered that on the unacademy app this is the batch that has started today if you are unable to enroll or any other problem that you face in this batch do let me know and we'll try and sort it out okay thank you so much guys for joining study well see you all tomorrow and stay positive study well is the least that i can say so best wishes and just keep a lot of positivity and i'm sure knowledge is something you guys anyway have which you've proven in these 10 spotters so knowledge mein to koi problem nahi hai bas thoda sa self doubt hai which we need to overcome and i'm sure we'll be able to overcome that also right chal thank you so much see you all tomorrow morning.